Issa D, former non-profit worker and building manager, to now owning a successful planning business. She can be all over the place but can also be resilient if she wants something. Adesia Obiago, former operations manager to now MD and CEO of Lionheart Transportation, can be rigid at times but adaptable if need be. So what if these two women from two different continents come together to form a strategic alliance, as in having an arrangement between their two companies to undertake a mutually beneficial project while each retains their independence? Will it be possible? What project will they undertake? What challenges will they overcome? Well, to answer this, let's first do a SWOT analysis on both of them, starting with Ether. Strength. One of the main strengths of Isa is Lawrence. I don't know. I just added it there because I like Lawrence. What do you think? Another strength of hers would be that she's very persistent if she wants to. But then moving on to her weaknesses, Isa can be insecure at times. We have seen her, you know, talk to herself in the mirror because she's indecisive or she's in doubting herself. So we've seen that she's overcome that at the end of the episode. But how long will that stay? Another weakness will be that she's indecisive. Isa can be all over the place when she wants to. For opportunities, there's an opportunity for her to penetrate a new market. Using collaborations, now that her event planning business is getting successful, she can look at other markets that she can get into. So the other opportunity will be collaborations which she can use for the new market penetration. Moving on to threats. There's a low barrier to entry for event planning businesses, meaning anybody can join that. So as a result, there will be high competition and that will be a threat and then bargaining power of buyers, meaning because there's high competition, buyers can choose from whichever company that they want to buy from. So they have more power because they have so many choices to choose from. Now, moving on to Adana. Her strengths, one of the main strengths of Adana is her strong work ethic. We've seen my girl get up early in the morning, go for a run, go to work. You know, she has strong work ethic and that's a good thing. Another strength of hers will be family. Oh my God, the Obergo family sticks together from the uncle to the dad, to the mom, to the brother, to even the aunt. And now that they've done the merger with my Keno Motors, who are also family oriented, that will be even stronger. They are very family oriented. And then a weakness will be that she can be rigid at times. She can be rigid and not adaptable to whatever's going on. Another weakness will be market research. I observed that she started doing the research even with the drivers when the problems arose. She didn't do the research prior to that, so that can be a weakness. Now, moving on to opportunities. She has the opportunity to expand. I know she's done the merger with my Kano Motors, but there's still opportunity to expand and there's still opportunity for new products, which she's seen with the smaller buses. There's even more opportunity to do other different types of buses. And we will look at that um, going on into this video. Threats will be Igwe Pascal number one. I don't think he will let off. Even though he was defeated at the end, I don't think he will let up. He will not let it go. Another witness would be Samuel. Even though I don't think he's that much of a witness or he's that strong as Igwe Pascal, but he can still be conniving and find ways, you know, to bring them down with what everything that's going on. So now, judging from the SWOT analysis, although it won't be easy and it won't be cheap, a strategic alliance may be possible for these two. So what project could they undertake? I think one possible project that Isa and Adana could overtake is to organize a cultural exchange event between LA and Lagos. You know, they can use Isa's event planning business and Adana's transportation company to collaborate and they can provide a unique and memorable experience for their customers. This event, they can use that to showcase the music, the food, the art and fashion of both cultures and then create opportunities for networking, learning, and fun. Isa will be responsible for planning and managing the event, while Adana will provide the transportation and logistics. And they can both have their business cards, stand-up banners, t-shirts, and boots for both of their businesses. 
This way, they can both cross-contaminate and connect their different target audience. There are a lot of Africans in LA who can benefit from ESA services. And then when Americans go to Nigeria, they can use Lionheart Logistics, you know, for touristic touring like purposes. But what challenges will they overcome? I think some of the challenges Isa and Adana could face in the project are one, cultural differences. They both come from different backgrounds and may have different values, expectations, and communication style. So they will need to respect and understand each other's perspectives and find a way to bridge the gap between their cultures. They will also need to be sensitive and respectable to their partners and their customers because both countries have different ways that they do, do things. Another thing will be the financial risk. Isa and Adana will need to invest a lot of money and resources in this project because they are, one will need to travel or both of them will need to travel to each other's countries and there will need to be a lot of investment done. So before that, they will need to do thorough market research. They will need to set a realistic budget. They may need to find sponsors and partners. And they will also need to deal with the currency exchange rate between, you know, the dollar and the naira and taxes and regulations. So that can be a challenge as well. A final challenge would be competition. Both of them will face competition from both of their industries, from event planners and transportation companies if they see them come together and do this and it becomes successful. So observers, what do you think? Do you think a strategic alliance will be possible with this tool? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.